Oh hi! So today I'm going to do a serious video on a topic I hate. I hate, 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 hate it. I cannot start so much. I hate this topic because I know it brings back painful memories and I am an emotional person. I have emotions. I'm not a robot. So I know I'm not going to do very well in this video, but I felt because everyone keeps emailing me about it and talking about it and I've kind of never addressed it. So I should just talk about it and maybe I'll help someone. Okay, so the topic is bullying and bullying is a very sad topic because I was a victim of bullying in high school when I came out of the closet. Um, there's one guy in particular and it sucked because it was my first period class and he would like fake trip in front of my desk and it would make like a loud sound and then he would be like Fuck it! under his breath and stuff. And it bothered me and it bothered me all day long because it was my first class. So the whole rest of my day was now ruined by this one person because I let this one person have the power to ruin my day. So, so I didn't really, I, I didn't really tell anyone about it or talk to the teacher or anything about it. And maybe that was my problem. I feel like when you are a victim of bullying, you should tell others and express how you're feeling and not let it bother you, not let that one person control your emotions, how you feel, how you feel the whole rest of the day. Because believe it or not, even though other people like try to control you, the only person that can control you is yourself. You control your emotions, you control your actions, you control what you do. So you can control what you say back, it, whether it be negative or positive. So try to make it um, more on the positive side and not like do something back to them or like try to kill them or something crazy but um it is a painful topic because because i was bullied so much in high school and i felt so alone i uh that's why i turned to things like self-harming and i did a video on self-harming i'll put the link in the description if you haven't seen it already i get so many emails of how that has helped so many people and i just I, it's it's overwhelming and it's so nice that one person can have the power to do great things and just doing this little video like this because most of the videos on YouTube are supposed to make you laugh or make you smile and be more upbeat but this this is like real like this is just me and you sorry I'm thinking about it too much and I don't like it okay so um it's just real. I feel like I'm on a one-on-one -on -one basis with you guys and I can kind of tell you guys my experiences and, and what to do. But you should talk about it and talk to other people about it and let people know how you're feeling. And don't let the fact that like one person doesn't like you, maybe there's someone else that will like you. And I feel like when I was in high school, because I knew so many people disliked me and so many people didn't support me, I felt closed and I closed everyone else out of my life and I feel like I could have had more friends because there was people that had you know a lot of friends but I feel like because I kind of like shot myself out from the rest of the world I felt like I I didn't fit in so just know that you can control that you can control your emotions and how you're feeling and just be happy and don't let it get to you because like I look back on it and I'm like oh my god <laughs> Like, I don't even know where that person went in their life. Like, I'm sure like he's in working at McDonald's or something, I don't know. But look at me, I'm like happy, I'm in a relationship, but everything is going great for me right now. And I'm that's like in my past. And I let it bother me for a certain period of my life and I moved on from it and it's like behind me now. And I move forward and you try to get out of those situations. So like, let's say it's happening in your school. Maybe see if you can talk to someone, talk to someone older, principal, your, um, the counselor people, and just be like, listen, can I change my class? Can I do this? I, I wanna avoid this person. I don't, maybe you don't want them to know. You don't want them to know that like, oh, that person's picking on me. I wanna change my class. Or um, most schools tend to be uh, large because the population is growing but if you live in a small school it would kind of suck more because your options are kind of limited but just know that that situation is not a permanent situation it is not going to be having the rest of your life 
if someone is bullying you, you control your life, you control your destiny, and where you want to be or who you want to be, that should not affect you and you shouldn't have to self-harm to to feel better because in the end, it doesn't make you feel better. Life is supposed to be joyous. You're supposed to feel joy. You're supposed to be happy and you shouldn't let things like that bother you. So I'm not sure if I'm rambling on or anything. I'm like having that problem where you're, I'm thinking too much and I feel like I'm just saying things and then my mind is trying to block out and suppress my memories because I don't know if you guys have ever been bullied before but it really it takes a toll on you emotionally and it shows like physically because you don't love yourself the way you're supposed to love yourself you don't have that confidence because people are picking you and putting you down and a lot of people do it because they don't have self-confidence as well so you got to be true to yourself be happy do your own thing and find joy in something else. Find joy in other things and don't let people bring you down. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about that for a couple of minutes. Um, if you guys need somebody to talk to, there also is the Trevor Project. I'll put the number on the screen over here or I'll put it in the, uh, in the description below. Basically, if you are feeling suicidal, if you are need help with self-harm, or if you need help with anything, they're on call 24-7 to help you guys. So please, please, please do not hesitate. We all need help from time to time. And, you know, like if, if I knew about that number when I was younger, I would have called and I would have talked to someone and I would have felt better. But, but instead, I sat in, in self-pity and I wish I didn't, but I moved on from it. Okay, I did good, I think I didn't cry, okay. Whew. So I do videos each and every Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe, because every time you don't subscribe, a gay baby turns straight. <gasps> do it for the gaybies! Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Also, I have another favor to ask. In the link in the description below, we're doing a petition for the gay blood drive. If many of you know, the gays, gay homosexual males cannot donate blood and uh, we're banned to donate. So we're doing a petition to try to get to 100,000 signatures. I think we're at like 20,000 now. So please share it with your friends, get everyone to sign, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. All right, love you all, bye. Alyssa, you are this week's winner. Let's see where you're gonna win. You want a Twitter shout out? I'll be sending you a message asking for your Twitter and then I'm gonna be giving you a shout out. Okay, love you, bye.